<clears throat> Hi, I'm back. Is anybody able to come back with me? Ah, okay, so the power was literally off for like 30 seconds, and it took me five and a half, six minutes to wait for the Wi-Fi to come back and get the computer to work. Boy, technology, man. I'm only going to wait about a minute or so, see if anybody can come back on. Hi, who's here? <laughs> Power company, man, causing issues. Can you see them better on this side? You kind of can. See, there's the Mickey head, and it's got these beautiful... Yeah. I only have one pair that I can sell. Not this pair, but another pair. Signs, signs, everywhere signs. You guys remember that song? Blocking the scenery, breaking my mind. Do this, don't do that. <coughs> Did Michelle's voice be any worse? <laughs> oh, okay. Where are you walking, Terry? You just on a treadmill? Working and walking, walking it off? I fell on a treadmill one time. Most embarrassing thing ever. Oh my God, it was so funny. I'm just chugging along, doing my thing, talking to the girls. Hey, how are you? Yeah, I agree. Spot right on my face. It was so embarrassing. I still don't know how I did it. Like, I have no clue. Like, did my shoestring get caught? Did I trip over my own feet? I don't know. One minute I was walking. The next minute, I was flattened. It was really embarrassing. <laughs> and I scraped my chin on the, whatever that thing's called, the mat that, you know, you're walking on. Yeah, I scraped my chin really bad. Oh, so embarrassing. It was horrible. Lulu's here. I just got it to go back online. Like two and a half minutes ago. I'm broken. You're broken? I'm broken. Well, come here. Let them fix you. I look like crap. I took my hair down. Oh, Michelle, it's okay. It was like <sighs> 20 plus years oh, ago. God. You look fine, baby girl. Hi. Sorry. I'm, you're, you're fine. I wouldn't touch me. You're fine. I'll take a bath later. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like it. Turned out good, right? Yeah. There's a video going up about it when I did it. But, um, hey, honey, can you grab that and hand it here? Oh, yeah. Oh, you put me on there. Well, yeah. Oh, man. It's our weekly schedule this week. So there's a video going up about this that I made. It is actually on the hard drive in there, and I have to um, get it uploaded, which I'll do probably tomorrow while hubby is at Dojo. <coughs> but anyway. Oi. Long day, baby girl. Cleaning toilets. Mine ain't been done. You want to go show me how to do it? No. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. I skipped some of them. They look clean. I was like, hmm, that's good. Michelle's asking if you want to open a restaurant or a bakery. I'm going to let you Both. answer. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. I'm going to go for it. Yeah, go. So here's the thing. This is really long. Sort of. I want a bakery, but I want. Sorry, I'm going to play with this. A minute so I get it where I want it. A Go specific ahead. type of bakery. I want a bakery that will provide for my restaurant to save money. Sort of, I think it will. I don't know. But basically, I'll have money going back into me, if that makes sense. But I want. I'll have them out to give you a fresh, break, fresh baked bread for your restaurant. Right. So, what me and Michael have talked about is me getting like this big, massive building and having like a little part of it, the bakery. The restaurant, and then I also want like a um, store because I want to sell stuff as well. And we're wanting, we're trying to incorporate all of that into a big, huge like building One facility. Yes, and we're gonna have a bakery. But you want to do it multiple times. You want yes. more than one site. Where but the bakery could be like you can like if you Disney people, you go down like 
You, you, they're all connected. You yeah, but you can go in, the other. but you can also just go into the bakery if you just want to go right. into the bakery. Because other than bread, we're gonna do pastries, oh, uh, muffins. We're gonna do a whole bunch of like cakes and macaroons. That's and, a good one to do, honey. That's a good one to do. And stuff like that. So we're gonna bring on my bakery and my restaurant and then a store. It's gonna be crazy. <laughs> but if I can't do it that way, then I'm hoping I can at least get them close to each other. Because yeah. I know the restaurant and the, the store has to be together, but the bakery could be like on its own, but still close to it. So I want to do a lot. Me and Michael already have the menu pretty much down of the restaurant. We're still working on the bakery um, stuff. We're, we're more focused on the restaurant because I want the restaurant more than anything. So that's where Nathan's Oh, wow. Is. Yeah. No, look at what she just said. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's cool. So you should go down and visit and see how they do it. I know, right? I'm nervous. I just want to, I know I, what I want. I just don't know how to get there. A rich family member. Oh, that one's jacked up. <laughs> <laughs> she chose poorly on that one. <laughs> That's really cool. I didn't even think about. But, we're, uh man, Michael actually came up with, like, the theme of what the restaurant was going to look like. And I will tell you, it is a barbecue <laughs> restaurant. You're welcome to come anytime. <laughs> it is a barbecue restaurant, and it is going to be in Tennessee. So he was playing off of the horse stables and kind of making it, like, a wooden barn look. That would be cool. And, like, have, like, a, like, booths and have like a huge like wooden plaque up and have it like a little stable inside a stall like a little stall inside yeah yeah i gotta be cool just gotta be careful doesn't get claustrophobic yeah claustrophobia well claustrophobia. we're gonna have we're gonna have that and then we're gonna have like um handicap seating in the front and we were talking about having like a two-story building and the, and the down handicap have the handicap right up way in the back on the top level we're just stairs. No, the back in the in the back of the top is gonna to be the bar. Well, we know where Michelle's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness! Okay, so I gotta do something with that heart pack because it totally doesn't match anything. Oh, I was <laughs> looking at the, the, You're that. You're looking up. <laughs> where? What's behind you, baby girl? I know. I see it now. It has been, and you're not used to doing that yet. Or you want to No, I still have. I mean, I get my body used to it, and then I quit, and then my body's unused to it, and then I do it again to myself. <laughs> you can't do that no more. No, I told Michael, I said, I, I, promise, I said, I promise I won't quit, but I can't promise you they won't fire me. And he goes, fair enough. I used to say that a lot, too. <laughs> he did. Because I knew that the likelihood of getting Fired was a lot easier than the likelihood of quitting because I was an ass. People, was? Don't, people don't like me and they bully me a lot because I'm really weird, baby. Was? Well, still am. <laughs> Just different <sighs> I had a, uh, they had a uh, dark chocolate, hot chocolate, and I mixed it with coffee and a little bit of water, creamer, and sugar. Cause I was like, I I was like this, like a zombie, like trying yeah. to clean everything. And I was like, we're not working. And I was like, my mother has coffee. And they're like, yeah, it's still very good. I'm like, oh. and then I seen it. And I was like, mm, yeah. I drank it down. And I was like, good morning. <laughs> I'd be up for days and days. I had a water, my one water bottle, and then they gave us. You get free breakfast. Every day that you work. Excuse me. So I had biscuits and gravy and, and tons of bacon with maple syrup for breakfast today. And a little bit of eggs. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. It was very good. Just a little bit. What? The fork. That's not a fork. Um. Oh. That's it. No. No. Someone liked it too. You're, no. Y'all are y'all rude. Y'all like smash the like button if you like seeing Joy in the Jump. Mm. Yeah. Hi, Kim! 
you missed our first one. And then the power company said, we're turning off your power. And I was like, no, I'm busy. So what happened with the toaster? I didn't get to see it. It, it didn't work. It doesn't work. <laughs> really? It, you push it down and it just pops right back up. It sings when you <laughs> pop it up, though, when it pops up. I don't remember what it sings of because I have uh, a whole It's supposed memory. to do the uh, Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Oh, yeah. Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. It does a. I wish I could have took a nap today. I'm freaking exhausted. I haven't slept yet today, Kim. I haven't been to bed yet because apparently that's a luxury in this house. That's right. The, the cat and the dog and the husband don't allow what? me to have. I don't have a husband, but my fiance <clears throat> has to literally start sleeping on the floor if he can't keep his butt on his side. I'm just gonna. <laughs> I, he he swears up and down that I wake up in the middle of the night hitting him, yelling at him, "Go oh, stand on your side," and that wouldn't happen. In your guys' defense, you need a bigger bed. <laughs> They're sleeping on a full, mm -hmm. yeah, full size mattress. And I mean, I need a new bed. Them. Our our queen size is like, uh, it's not the size actually of the bed. Well, it kind of is because of the dog, but um. Oh, Michael's very first birthday was Winnie the Pooh too, because he loved Winnie the Pooh. That is, yeah. When Michael was just a few weeks old, I had actually it was the very first time I took Richard to work and I kept the car after Michael. You thought was who born. was married? Me and Michael? No, we're not married. We say we are, but we're no, no, we're not. <laughs> and, we were um, supposed to be getting married, and what's today? Today is Emily's birthday. We were supposed to be getting married in four days, but today's I Emily's know. birthday. And um, I'm going to kind of go over there, but I know Michael's in there now. Anyway, um, Richard needs to call her. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Goodness. So we're we were shopping in at Walmart, and I had him up on my shoulder, and all of a sudden he starts cooling and babbling and talking. And I turned around and there's a rattle, but it's one of those rattles that had the stuffed animal at the top. And it was a Winnie the Pooh. And he's just talking up a storm to this thing. So I had to buy it because he loved it, clearly. I actually had it for a long time. And then when we had our stuff in storage at Mom's one time, it got moldy and I had to throw it away. Jane, was, wait one minute. We'll be oh, right gosh. There. And then, yeah, the very first time we ever took the kids to Disney, um, we took them to Animal Kingdom. And at that time, when you took the bridge over and you could see the, the tree, the bridge walls were not solid like they are now. They had pedestals in them, and you could see through the pedestals. Mm -hmm. Well, as you're walking over, there used to be a meet and greet area down there on the other side. And Jaden's got his little face smushed up against these pedestals at that bridge. We'll be there in a minute. We'll come and wipe down. Oh, my God, with his little speech thingy that he used to do. It's the cute. We've got it on video. And it's the cutest thing I think I've seen ever. It. I've shown it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's just, it's, yeah. But he was talking to Tigger and um, Piglet. Piglet. Yeah. Oh, I actually made the shelf, the, the tray, the two. I'm going the wrong way. The two tier trays. That's not easy to do, is it? And. I didn't make the no. Oh God! Don't pull. Don't hold that handle like that. No, 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 no. Always by the bottom. Always by the bottom. You're closing the room. You just like totally gave me a heart attack. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, and the camper, the Richard and the boys got me for Christmas a couple of years ago. <laughs> She's laughing at you for covering your face when you oh. did that. <laughs> You're sitting on my dress. There we go. Sorry. That's okay. I got two layers of pants on because he's got cool. Oh no. And Michael's like, oh, just put my shorts on my knees instead of my knees. Oh no. Sorry. So, well, thank you. The rooster up here, right there, when I worked at a, a veterans facility, one of the ladies in the community likes, she hand paints stuff like that. And, um, she brought in like a ton of them and decided she, nobody that one was left behind nobody wanted it and i felt bad for it so i brought it home and my aunt said you're supposed to have a chicken in your kitchen to have luck i don't know it's not i don't have a any. chicken uh-oh mm -hmm. ah! i need a chicken oh fire and damnation girl what are you thinking <laughs> now you're gonna make me all superstitious of why i'm oh, not please. having luck 
Ah, there's oh chicken in the kitchen. <laughs> Here, babe, put this back, please. Don't touch the ink because it's dry erase and it doesn't stay. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you, Michelle. Oh, <laughs> Kim had a chicken in her kitchen and she ate it. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I, I wonder if he knew what he was in for when uh, he went in your kitchen there, Kim. <laughs> so anyway, Michael's love of Winnie the Pooh from the time he was itty bitty. Um, his very first Christmas, everything we bought him except the toy box that we put the toys in was Winnie the Pooh. Like everything. Have you seen those pictures of his first Christmas? I need to find those for you. The gift wrap, everything was Winnie the Pooh. The toys. He, you know that new movie, the new Christopher Robin that came out. Yeah, I didn't like it. We were watching it, and he got really upset. We both did because they were being so mean to poo. Oh, yeah, I didn't. It was depressing. Me and him didn't like it. It was. Yeah, so I didn't sad. like it either. It was and very depressing. Like, oh, poor poo. And I was See, like, oh. he loves poo. He won't admit it, but he loves poo, which is awesome because she likes his work. So, yeah. If you don't do your nursery and Winnie the Pooh, I'll be so mad at you. I don't know what to... I mean, that is universal. You know Piglet's a boy and Pooh's a girl? Pooh is not a girl. Pooh is a girl. Well, then she's showing too much. <laughs> I mean, he was too, but I mean... Yup. Yup, yup, yup. I want to see how he <laughs> reacts to... Um, don't tell me the name of it. Crystal and Palace. Kim says she loves Piglet, too. I love Piglet. Nobody can love Piglet. <laughs> I love Piglet in general. Yeah, I can't wait to do Crystal Palace. I can't. Dude, okay, so funny story. We went to Walmart the other day with me and Michael, and we went through the uh, you scan, you do it yourself, and this lady had a pig purse. And I told Michael, and I said, I'm going to go oh, ask yeah. her. Where she got it from, and he goes, No, please don't. Please, please here. And I go, no, Michael no. has dollar signs going bling, 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 bling above his head. No, he was more embarrassed than anything. Oh, no, he had dollar signs, I guarantee you. And and he was like, No, please don't, please, that's so embarrassing. No, no, no. And I go, I can't. So I went over there, and I was like, I was kind of scared that she was looking. I was trying to love her, and I go, I'm so sorry, but where did you get that purse? <laughs> She, she told me, and then she had a matching uh, wallet that went with it. She actually had a tattoo that was a pig snout on her. And I was like, oh, my word. Me. I didn't think there was anybody that liked pigs more than you. They don't. I think she did. Yeah, I agree. I'm not a Tweety Bird fan either. I was never really a big Looney Tunes fan. I hung out with a guy that loved Looney Tunes. And I thought he was a bit loony, so it seemed quite appropriate, to be honest. But I never, never could get into the Looney Tunes. I thought I saw a pretty cat. Although, I, I have to correct that a little bit. I'm sorry, my hair is driving me absolutely freaking nuts. It looks nuts. good, though. Leave it alone. Oh, oh boy, yeah. you messed her up. Stop. <laughs> there, is that better? Yes. <laughs> Quit touching it. <coughs> Roadrunner. I love Roadrunner and Coyote. The most ridiculous Hello. cartoon ever. I, me, me. I love the Roadrunner. I'm excited to see how he reacts to Pooh, though. Bugs see if Bunny. he's still, like, cool, goofy about it, or if he's just like, hey. Yeah, it'll be fun to see if he gets all giggly and smiling. I don't think he will. I don't think he will. He don't, we never he's such an old man. To, uh, which I told him, it's me and him go, and we go there by ourselves, but I think we're all four going there to Chef Mickey's. I think yeah. that was in our plans. Five. Five of, yeah. <laughs> Five of us are going, and I'm going to have him get my food. Because I don't want to miss a character. He could care less about the character. Yeah, it kind of stinks because they don't come back to your table. So if you miss one when you're up getting food, that's the worst thing about doing the buffet with the characters. Yeah. So I was thinking risk. about making him go. So and you kind of have to watch where the characters are, and then time your run. Yeah, literally run <laughs> to the food between characters. Yeah, yeah, something on my on my dress. I'm actually wearing a dress, guys. I know, I've seen that in the future. I was like, I've just, all dressed up. I, I don't know. I was feeling like a dress today, I guess. And but I have, like, shorts on under it. <laughs> but I was thinking about making him go and getting the food up in the I don't care what you get, but you get food. We just got to make sure we have somebody there with um, number five mm -hmm. so that we can get pictures and stuff like him with the characters. Right. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, thanks, Kim. This is what I wore to Ohana when we went on our trip last year. I love Ohana. Ohana! I'm, like, daydreaming about going back there. Girl, I'm daydreaming about going back, period. But the food was And I keep really watching really Michael really. K. and David K. videos. Well, I fast forward. Yeah, did you learn about the, uh, uh, Napoli, Napoli, Napoli thing? The in Napoli or Naples? Naples. Yes. Hmm. She knew before me? No. Oh. My resume, my job potential in Naples, Florida. Huh? Your, I thought I told you. No. Okay. Oops. I'm about to be kicked, I think. So I have a friend who runs multiple properties in Florida. Well, he owns them, so obviously he runs them. He has a job oh. opening. Does so it I'm assuming my house, resume. A place to live? No, it's a bookkeeper. It's not a property manager. A bookkeeper. I'll be inputting um, financial information into a computer program is what I'll be doing. It does not require any sort of degree, I asked. So, you might be just packing up and leaving? I don't know. I'm scared because it's like really far south. That's why I showed you where Naples was on my phone. Go, go. Bye. But I got that thing with mom in October. I can do it with a go, bye. I... I'll do it with her. I'll take her off the day. I'm sending the resume. We'll see what happens. I'm sending him my resume. That's all I Girl, if you get it. Bye. <coughs> Love you. See you. Bye. What about Christmas, Joe? See? No. Christmas. Don't suck it up. You have to come down and see us. Yeah. <laughs> with what money? Christmas in Miami. Christmas. We're not being in Miami. We're being in Naples. Christmas in no. Miami. Oh, ah. oh, my God. <laughs> Y'all just going to have to send me. Yeah, we'll mail, mail gifts. gifts. Love you guys. We'll Although, it on camera. I would probably find a way for us to make it home for Christmas because with Daddy's help, this could very easily be our last one with him. That's true. Come they can come see us. I guess I'll be flying home alone. We're leaving for Florida for a reason. I guess it's I'll called fly. winter. I guess I'll fly home alone. Yeah, the family is always... You I can have always my family with me. For family. My family will be with me. He says he's had his, he'll have his family with him. Hey! Bitch, bitch! That wasn't nice. I'll shove you off that chair. So now woman. you're forgetting about your kids and your mom and dad and all the okay, well other people. Okay, we need to X out half of the mom and dad thing because really. No, I'm talking about him. your mom and dad. No, he's, he's talking about it for him. Okay. <laughs> I'm not forgetting about everything. That's why I'm having, like, Stress about it. I'm sending in the resume because, I mean, if you get it, go. If I get it, yeah. Bye. Yeah. We'll try to see you in, like, after our birthday. Can you get right out of the van so you put it down there? <laughs> <laughs> she says, why don't you and Michael go with? That's what I keep saying. Come. Um, I keep trying to get everybody to come with us. Kelly will come. <laughs> no, she won't. She won't leave Shiloh in the Greens and Stan Drake. Um, we have. They have plans of their own that don't involve Florida. No. I don't like hot. I don't like being hot. <laughs> yeah. I want to be near my family. <coughs> and they're making the choice of moving away from us, which I can't help. But I want to. I mean, I'd love to be near you guys, but y'all are up and moving. So I get to be near my family. And then we still have to watch after your mom and dad. And then, like, you make it sound like they need babysitters. <laughs> well, we owe them a lot, too. So, you know. Well, yeah. We got to take care of the niece and nephews in case something happens. Don't get me started. I'm we're going to be here about 15 more minutes, guys, and then we're going to get off. And then what else? What else? Do I Actually, about there? five more minutes. I just... Me and Michael don't agree that we're going to be here for, like, another two years. Plus, my school. I already know what school I'm going to. I'm already signed up for school. And I already know, like, all that's set up. So I'm going to just get my first two years of school done and over with. And then after that, me and Michael are talking about moving to Tennessee, and I'll go to school out there. And then we'll start trying to have a family out there. Down there. Down, Down there. there. I said out, not out. 
I know, but it's still not, it's not out of town. I know. <laughs> but, and then we're going to try to have our family down there in, in Tennessee. Ooh. Uh, for college, I will be taking, uh, I, I think I'm going to do business first because business is the hardest. And if I need help, my dad's here to help me. And then I'll take culinary while I'm in uh, Tennessee if that happens to be where we end up at. If not, I'll just go where I'm going now for culinary. Good call. Good call. But I'm going to get the hard one done so I have people that know how hard it is that they can help me when I'm not by myself. Because no offense, but my school is not going to be able to help. My dad took it, and he he has a, a what is that, a degree in it? Mm-hmm. But um, that's where I'm wanting to stay, so if he needs to help me, he can help me. Rely on your professors. They're really good at helping you where you're going. All of the professors there are awesome. I'm a little scared to do business. Everybody says it's really hard. It can be. And I know I'm not very good at school, so I'm a little nervous about that. Find a study buddy and rely on your professors. I wish Michael would do it with me. If that doesn't work, cheat. You got it, dude. (laughs) (laughs) All right, guys. How I got through high school. People doing my work for me. (laughs) Only the online classes. He's still got his shirt on. He'll wear the same shirt for about three days and then he'll swap out shirts. She says, Richard, you still got your same shirt on. Yep. Okay, guys, we're going to get out here and take this girl home and take the kid to work. And I got to go to work with him. I don't have a house to be my sister on it. (laughs) We'll see everybody later. Thank you for coming back and chit chatting with us. Bye. Bye. I love when we speak up like that. Bye. Bye.